Thank you for coming back to Bali Today. So my guest, Rahana, who is the director of last year's production of Midsummer Night's Dream. Now, what was your venue for that again? Um, we, we played it at the Arma, right. the Agung Rai Museum of Art in Thank Ubud. You. Thank you. And I, I, I went to see the show. First of all, I heard from a lot of people living in Bali. They were so so happy to be able to see Shakespeare in Bali and to take their kids because you know that's a big challenge for us mm -hmm. the things we feel our kids aren't getting so please how did you come to had you done that particular Shakespeare before as a director I directed it with children before oh, <laughs> oh a small challenge <laughs> yes I directed it with children in, in, in the Bay Area, in San Francisco. Okay. I played it at Lake Tahoe. Oh, um, wow. For the Summer Shakespeare Festival. I played but you're Hernia. not American. No, I'm not. No. no. I'm okay. South African. I'm from Cape Town. Oh. Yeah. So you've traveled a lot? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And that show came to me on the back of a motorcycle. Somebody passed me a helmet and I took it and put on my head and said, he said helmet and I said, helmet by Moonlight Proud Titania and then suddenly it just flooded. I saw fairies everywhere and people reciting Shakespeare in the rice fields and <laughs> <laughs> kind of took off. <laughs> That's so cool, maybe. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Sweet. Well, what I was really impressed about, it was a totally unique version. There's, you know, there was um, this integration of dance, Bahasa Bali, Bahasa Indonesia, Bahasa English. You brought Am I right? I mean, I only saw it. You created it. So you, what elements did you put together? It was wonderful to have it flow together like that. We used, we opened with a Javanese wedding song for Titania and Oberon's wedding. And then we went from the classical Javanese wedding song to um, a breakbeat Balinese <gasps> thing that brought Katut Rina in onto the stage. So we were playing with like genres, different times, breaking up. Javanese traditional music to make contemporary DJ music and it was a lot of fun. Well, I was really impressed, I must say. For those of you that didn't see this, I'm so sorry, but it was so exciting. Um, generally, that piece of theater starts with a dialogue scene between the King of the Fairies and the Queen of the Fairies. Mm -hmm. And what you generally get to understand is that they have a uh, long-term marriage which has ended up in sort of a love-hate relationship and a lot of competitiveness. But Rahana, in your show, that was all completely done in dance. Hmm. We worked with Jane Chen's Pancha Silat moves because um, the character she played is a, is a warrior queen and the king kind of like, he wins her in battle, he kind of like bests her on the battlefield, overpowers her and then takes her as a wife, which is not a not congenial to good marital relationships. Sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that style of marriage yet. I might try that one. The battlefield? No, fine. <laughs> but you know, what I loved about it was that um, immediately, within the first minute that the, the lights went up, it is multicultural. Mm -hmm. Because it didn't matter what your language was, you were into that story. Mm. You, you, you didn't alienate anyone, you actually incorporated everyone. Mm. Which is fantastic. Yeah, it, so it, it, it was good. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, you had a great cast. We had, in the first five minutes, after the first five minutes, Ruchina Ballinger arrived with her long hair on the back of a motorcycle, looking like a Balinese biker mama, speaking in Balinese. And it was, it was good. The yeah. laughter, you know, when the first words spoken were Balinese, it was so exciting because so many people in this audience started laughing. I didn't get it, but that's okay. And there was Bahasa Bali, and then there was some Indonesian, and then soon they were on to English. Something from everyone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, the staging, you know, um, the production actually took place in so many locations that wherever you were seated in the audience, at some point in that show, it was right in front of you. It was mm. amazing. Yes. Great idea. It, I think it was a response to how visually beautiful Bali is everywhere. Everywhere looks like a stage set, you know, even if it's kind of like urban encroaching on something traditional or meeting of 
past and present. There's, there's always something visually exciting as a backdrop. Um, I saw that especially when you did the Tatiana, is it? Tatiana. So that one, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank Tatiana. you. Tatiana. Uh, that one. She's asleep. That's a very famous scene. Mm -hmm. And you use the adorable little girls in the costumes around her. And it was remarkable because it just looked like one of those pre-Raphaelite paintings in gauze and lime green and the Balinese green landscape. And it was just stunning. I can never forget. Unforgettable. That's mm. the best thing to say that about was, your work. That was a very challenging, challenging scene because there were ants in the grass <laughs> and we, I didn't we think had about that. to find the environmentally friendly ant cream <laughs> and cover them in lavender. Wait, cover the ants or cover the people? We covered the, the ants in the environmentally friendly ant cream and then we covered the people in the lavender and yeah but it worked out in the end. Mm. <laughs> All right, so now this year, 2010, mm -hmm. the festival is on again, and you've got something completely new for us. Yes, what we do. What is this one? This one is a, is, is a bit, the focus is a little bit broader. It's called Conference of the Birds. It's based on a 12th century Sufi epic poem by a man called Fariduddin Attar. He was an inspiration to Rumi, so he was a forerunner of Rumi. Now, I'm going to pull the plebeian card for a moment. Mm -hmm. Please, just for the children at home watching, Sufi, remind me, where are the Sufis from? The Sufis ranged from, uh, I should say, Persia, across Central Asia, all the way to India, into North Africa and Indonesia. The first Muslims that came to Indonesia were Sufis. Thank you. Okay. And Sufism is considered the inner heart of Islam. Thank you. Keep going. <laughs> so intelligent and <laughs> educational. Well, um, so this man inspired Rumi, who's the most popular poet in the United States today. So the, your, your piece of theatre, from what century? From the 12th century. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. okay. 1177, to be exact. It was written by a perfumer. Fariduddin Atta was an apothecary. Yes. Um, he made perfume, he did aromatherapy, and his name Atar means scent. So um, the play is supposed to be alchemical or distilling the perfume of the soul. Ooh. <laughs> perfume of the soul. That makes me think of a lot of things. <laughs> and he wrote this wonderful story about a group of birds who go in search for the king of the birds and they eventually find when they get there that the king of the birds is actually themselves and each one of them so that each one of them is the divine and together they are the divine oh I love that yeah we, we like it <laughs> we're enjoying this product More what, how big is your cast? our cast is seven people oh okay seven people all from Ubud? All from, the, there's one or two from Seminyak, but mm -hmm. all people that are based in, in Bali. Their age ranges from 14, the oldest member of the cast is 64. Um, there are two Sufi women in our cast, one from, originally from San Diego, the other originally from Aceh. So it's quite a diverse and inspiring group of people. Percentage in English? A uh, lot of it is in English. Thanks. Percentage in other languages? Um, a, a much smaller percentage than the last show. But there's also a lot of dance and a lot of sacred music, Ooh. live sacred music from, from, from Northern Africa through Central Asia to India. So well, uh, earlier this week, um, we filmed Rahana and her cast rehearsing. So we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll take you to see Rahana and her cast for the council. Um, conference. conference of the Birds. Conference oh, of the that. Birds at the Ubud Writers Festival from the 6th to the 10th at the Maya. Oh, so now. You're on now. Yes, right. we are. Okay. It's our second night. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting all drooly. I want to mm -hmm. go. I want to go. I think I will go tonight, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to take a little break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to Rahana and her cast. Oh, 
with brilliance, crystal clarity, the brilliance of lightning and dark starry night. Piece of text with a fair breath. Okay, my name is Atta and I live in Seminyak. Now Atta, what's your favorite thing about being an actor? Well, I get to exercise my sworn duty to entertain people. <laughs> and let the fear come at you from all over your body and respond to it and then let the line come. Don't let the line come until you connect via the breath. So we can all take our lines at the same time, but we're finding the breath first. Okay? But people might see it. So it's an expanding their range of communication, yeah? So that they feel it and see it. Feel you going, you need to go down and put your thing on your head or whatever. Let yourself go to that place. Oh, I must confess, I am trickling with fear. Not of the journey itself. Hello, I'm Lindsay Wise and I live here in Ubu. <laughs> so Lindsay, mm -hmm. what is your favorite thing about working with Rohana and this cast? Um, I really enjoy the entire group and Rihanna is extremely professional and is helping to bring us all to our highest limits and capabilities as actors and I'm just having a lot of fun and really enjoying all that we're doing. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's go from uh, a dead line, thousands have perished in this great war. So Atta, come down stage, look, and you're down on the ground. I think you've gone down at this stage, right, Ticha? You're all the way down on the ground. Turn yellow as old silk, languish tears on the brink of sorrow. No, it's not true. It is better to fly, to choose the way, knowing now that there is no certainty of success. But if you fail, you do so as you try to find the ocean of love. How can we aspire? Hello, my name is Sage Kimball. I live in Ubud. Oh, yeah. all right. I didn't know that, Sage. All right. So, Sage, what is your favorite thing about the Conference of the Birds? Um, I really like, well, first of all, it has the three things that I think make a show really good, which is um, there's singing, and there's <laughs> acting, and then there's also dance. Um, yeah, I really like those. And then also, it's just an epic tale yeah. of, I mean, all the birds which can represent the humans um, and the problems that everyone faces in their life and even on a day-to-day -day basis just the problems that humans go through and the show kind of shows how you can overcome these problems and find yourself and find God and it's a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> nice simple tale. A nice simple story. Thank you Sage, that's You're great. Welcome. Okay. And beggars my spirit which has lost what it had and the rest has turned into scorpions in my besieged eye and tongue. I call, and no one hears within me, since I have no sincerity to wrest my burning mind from the fire of the world. How easily I fall before the idols of my attachments. How can I find my role? I want sincerely to meet the king, but I have not the strength of soul. The way is not for everyone. Hi, I'm Raditya. I'm 15 years old, and I live in Ubud in Bali. So Raditya, what is your very favorite thing about this show, The Conference of the Birds? Well. I just love how epic it is. It's just huge, you know. It's one of the. I've never done anything like this before. And that's that's what I love about it. Congratulations! You're so happy. <laughs> that's cute. That will bring us in, okay? Butter in the sun compared to yours that's always firm and strong. I am tormented by ambition and lust. I shun no pleasure no matter how low. I am easily gulled into complacency and unbelief. 
uh, nama saya Yuanita Ramadhani, saya berasal dari Aceh, saya tinggal di Denpasar. Uh, ya. Ita, mm -hmm. bagian apa yang paling Anda suka dalam cerita ini, The Conference of the Birds? Semua bagian saya suka karena dikemas dengan sangat menarik, jadi kami di sini menari, bernyanyi dan juga berdialog, terus memainkan gestur yang uh, sangat bagus. Dan satu lagi cerita ini karena saya adalah seorang muslim, cerita ini sangat dekat dengan saya karena ini adalah cerita sufi dari abad ke-12. Semua orang tahu tentang musyawarah burung. Semua orang tahu tentang cerita ini. Jadi ini juga tantangan buat saya supaya saya bisa bermain dengan baik dan keren. Yes. Terima kasih banyak. Terima kasih. Thank you. Light has pierced through in between the clouds. The winds have died down and the shutters are lifted. The light blows a hole. There you go. So Rahana and her cast of the incredible show that's going to be up at the Ubud Maya Resort this weekend of the Writers and Readers Festival called the Conference of the Birds. So we're going to take another break, and we'll be back with more entertaining stuff for you, you resident of Bali, you. See ya.